You know, everything that Donald Trump stands for and everything Donald Trump stands against, he's a hypocrite about it. The dude is the absolute walking embodiment of hypocrisy. He is the walking embodiment of a fraud. And no matter how many times you point it out to his followers, they get more angry at us for pointing it out than they do at him for being a hypocrite and a fraud. But we're going to keep pointing it out for those that are sitting back on the fence going, I really don't know about this guy. I know my family loves to rally around the table at Sunday dinner and they all love to talk about him, but I really don't know about this guy. So hopefully they will hear more of us talking and begin to realize just what a true hypocrite and a true fraud this guy is. From day one, he ran on build the wall. We got to build the wall. He's talked more about immigration than any president in recent memory. And now he's resorted to saying things like they're poisoning the blood and we have to root out the vermin. Do you guys remember when he said this? We got a lot of work to do. They're poisoning the blood of our country. That's what they've done. They poison mental institutions and prisons all over the world, not just in South America, not just the three or four countries that we think about, but all over the world they're coming into our country from Africa, from Asia, all over the world. They're pouring into our country. Nobody's even looking at them. They just come in. Uh, the crime is going to be tremendous. The terrorism is going to be. Terrorism is going to be. And then we built a tremendous piece of the wall, and then we... So you would automatically guess that a guy that would talk that way about immigrants wouldn't be married to one, but you guessed wrong because Donald Trump is in fact married to an immigrant. Melania Trump is an immigrant. She married him in 2005, and the following year she had their son Barron. She also became an American citizen in the year 2006, and since then she used a legal pathway to make her mother an American citizen a pathway that Donald Trump has rallied against and called chain migration. During his presidency, he endorsed a bill called the Raise Act, which would limit people from bringing, they could bring their spouse or their child, but not their parents. So when it works for Donald Trump and his family, he's cool with it. But if it's anyone else, he rallies against it. That's hypocrisy. If it's okay for his wife to be an immigrant and it's okay for her to use legal pathways to make her mother a citizen, why is he so down against everyone else taking advantage of the same legal system? Well, how, is that, how is that not hypocrisy? How is that not fraud? Every aspect of Donald Trump's life that he claims he's an expert in, he's a hypocrite and a fraud. Now he's out here selling Bibles. He's selling Bibles to his audience, and he's talking about how the world needs more Christianity. Take a look at this. All Americans need a Bible in their home, and I have many. It's my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. This Bible is a reminder that the biggest thing we have to bring back America and to make America great again is our religion. Religion is so important. It's so missing, but it's going to come back, and it's going to come back strong, just like our country is going to come back strong. So you would automatically guess that a guy who would say those things would be very well versed in the Bible and could quote scripture on call, but it turns out he can't. Take a look at this clip. You mentioned the Bible. You've been talking about how it's your favorite book, and you said, I think last night in Iowa, some people are surprised that you say that. I'm wondering what one or two of your most favorite Bible uh, verses are well, and why. I, I wouldn't want to get into it because to me that's very personal. You know, when I talk about the Bible, it's very personal, so I don't want to get into there's verses. No, there's I don't no want to get into it. There's no, no verse I, that I, means I a lot to you that you think about or cite. The, the Bible means a lot to me, but I don't want to get into specifics. Even to cite a verse that no, you like? No, I don't want to do that. You're I mean, an Old Testament guy or a New Testament guy? Uh, probably equal. I think it's just an incredible, the whole Bible is an incredible, I joke. Uh, very much so. They always hold up the art of the deal. I say my second favorite book of all time. But uh, I just think the Bible is just something very special. So he can sell Bibles and he can use the Bible to further his grift, but he can't name one book out of it. He can't name one of his favorite verses. I know Christians who can't wait to tell you what their favorite verses and their favorite books and their favorite stories are. Hell, I know atheists and agnostics that can tell you what their favorite verses and their favorite stories are. I'm an agnostic myself. I promise you I can quote the Bible circles around Donald Trump. The guy is it also said that he didn't see any reason why that he should, should be forgiven. The face now of Christianity to the evangelicals, the guy they have got behind, says that he don't know why he would ever ask for forgiveness. When their entire religion is based on accepting Jesus and asking for forgiveness, that's the whole base of their belief system. But they put a guy who says, 
He don't know why he would ask for forgiveness. They put him at the front. And this Bible he's selling has the Declaration of Independence, the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, the Pledge of Allegiance, all in there. But yet he says he will terminate the Constitution whenever he sees fit. And he tried to overturn an election that he knew he lost. Again, there's absolutely no consistency anywhere in this guy's life. He talks about how patriotic he is, how much he loves his country, and he tells his followers to fight like hell to save democracy. But when it was his turn to fight, he dodged the draft. And then come back years later and mocked and made fun of John McCain and prisoners of war. He called dead soldiers losers and suckers. Where is any consistency with this fraud? Where is any consistency with this hypocrite? Name one area of his life where he's not a hypocrite about it. And going back to Melania Trump, I do not have a problem with her coming to this country. I don't have a problem with her mother coming to this country at all. But is it not hypocritical that he would rally against the same system his own wife used to bring his mother-in-law to the country and make her a citizen? I don't have a problem with the fact that Melania posed nude. I don't have a problem with the fact that Donald Trump slept with a porn star. None of those things matter in the grand scheme of things. What matters to me is the hypocrisy of it, that they're sitting there telling us how we should live our lives and how that we're all going to hell because we don't act more like them and how the world needs Christianity when they are the walking embodiment of Satan himself. It That's the part that I don't, that's the part that no one likes. No one likes to be preached to by a hypocrite. If Donald Trump was standing up there, a guy who had served his country proudly, a guy who had been married to the same woman his whole life, a guy that, that spoke eloquently and, and, and spoke with compassion and followed the teachings of Jesus and welcomed people into our country, if he was saying all of those things and then preaching at us that we should do better, I'd go, well, okay, I mean, the guy does live a pretty clean life, but I can name all kinds of people who lived a really good life, and Donald Trump has mocked and made fun of them. Jimmy Carter, if I was going to be a Christian, would be the blueprint that I would use to be a Christian, and Donald Trump has mocked that guy. John McCain served his country proudly, and Donald Trump mocked that guy. Joe Biden is a Christian, and he mocks him every day of his life. Barack Obama is a Christian, and no matter how many times he said it, they wouldn't accept it. And that's funny to me because when I was growing up in church, we were taught that if someone came and gave their heart to Christ and said they were a Christian, we were supposed to love and embrace them and accept them. They just completely missed that memo when it came to Obama. So that's the type of hypocrisy and that's the type of fraud that so many of us are sick and damn tired of. And we're going to keep pointing it out no matter how mad MAGA or the evangelicals may get about it. They should be more offended than us that they've been played by this con man. They should be more offended than us that he has, that he has mocked people in the name of their God. They should be more offended that he stands up there and says, root out the vermin and build the wall and then is married to an immigrant himself. That's what should offend them, not us calling it out. The fact that we're calling it out and you're getting mad about it just shows us that deep down, you know we're right. So, so now what's your excuse? Take all the time you need with that.